Morning, Matt. Good morning. So tell us, where do you stand on all of this? Uh, I agree with Steve Harmison. I think it was completely within the laws of the game. Mm-hmm. Kerry didn't like walk up to stumps with the ball in hand, wait for Bairstow to step out and then take him, caught the ball and threw it straight away. The ball was still in play. It's like a football you get told play to the whistle. The ball was still in play whilst Bairstow doing walking off. I think... Yeah, yeah, I mean, you're right in a sense. No one is disputing by the letter of the law it's out. Uh, yeah, that's fair enough. But I think that the, the issue comes where people are suggesting... You know, even the umpires looked as though they thought it was over by just some... They weren't even looking. So by that suggestion, it, you might think, well, they think it's over. Now, that's still... The umpire that, thinks it's over. The umpire should call over. The umpire hasn't. Well, that, that's the other point. We don't know why that wasn't the case. But, um, yeah, can you not can you not see how there can be a bit of the whole spirit of the game and why we can question that? Not really, no. I think if he'd, I've seen one recently with, in the T20 Blast with folks, England wicketkeeper, uh, who kept the ball in hand, walked up, walked up, waited, waited, waited for the guy to lift his foot and then stumped him. I think that's unsporting. Yeah. Kerry okay, caught the ball and delivered it in one action to break the stumps, knowing from what the best would be doing throughout the game that he was going to leave the crease. Yeah. But there is, there, is a, there is a bit of sport in, you know, sportsmanship. In, like, for example, say they were, they were taking a quick run. And one of the England players runs into the Australian bowler. Uh, yeah. But the Aus- Australian bowler's just stepped in his path and he gets body checked and he's out of his crease and they run him out. Would they, you know, there's a bit of sportsmanship there. Do you let him walk out or do you say, no, sorry? I it- think in that case, the umpire wouldn't give it out because he'd impeded the runner. Mm. Yeah, there's a line in there. There are lines and there is sportsmanship. I mean, it's, I think the biggest sportsmanship issue in this game would be the catches claimed by Stark and Smith. When they both clearly ground the ball, that's unsporting. Well, uh, but, catch, oh, I see. Yes, grounded. right. Okay, so you've you've got more of an issue of that than than what oh, we saw yesterday. Yeah, that, Funny you should say that. I thought he was out. I thought it was a great catch. I know he's put the ball on the floor, but he had a, he had his fingers underneath it for a split second. He yes, had, but it's he all caught to, it. it's all to do with the body movement because he's still moving and the ball then is grounded. Well, what about Steve when, Smith when he? When he caught, he was he wasn't in control of his body. Well, look, it's been, there has been plenty of controversy yeah. in, in this test, certainly. Matt, if you just stay there, because we've got another England fan who, who does disagree with you, so you might want to have a little bit right of up. debate. Uh, Gareth, morning to you. Oh, morning. So morning. Uh, as I say, I, I think you might disagree with what Matt's been saying. I absolutely do. I, I was really disappointed in Harmy this morning. I've always admired him. I think he's a great cricketer. But when he starts to talk about the fact that actually... It's, it's worse if you stump someone out from the bowler's end where someone's trying to gain an advantage by advancing down the pitch. There was no advantage to be gained by um, Bairstow at all. The stumping rule is there. Stop people waltzing down the pitch willy-nilly and missing the ball. They get stumped. Then you're out. The, the, the overhead ended. The overhead ended. Mm. The Australians have got a record with sandpaper and cheating. I don't think this is cheating because at the end of the day, he was out in the rules of the, of the game. But that's not the spirit. Too many sports don't have spirit. Footballers are diving in. It's, it's cricket, surely it's nice to have one game where actually there's a bit of spirit. Because to me, he didn't even warn Bairstow. So to me, it's outrageous. And for that Australian guy just sent to say, the fact we're disgusted is going too far, he should just listen to Brad Hogg. Hogg said it absolutely the way it is. Mm. He shouldn't have done it. Tuffers last night, they shouldn't have done it. Most people are saying they shouldn't have done it in the spirit of the game. No one is saying that he wasn't out because he was out. But they should have, they should have backed off and said, no, in the spirit of the game, that's just out of order. Matt, do you have anything to say back to Gareth? Just I still disagree. I don't think it's a spirit of the game issue. He didn't try to deceive him, like I say, like the folks were recently in the blast. He didn't walk up, wait, wait, wait for Bearso to lift his feet. He caught the ball and threw it in one action while the ball was still live. It wasn't over. The umpire hadn't called over. The ball was still in play. It's like in football. Play to the whistle. Do you know, part of, me, play, part of me no agrees with both difference. sides because... Well, of course you can see the argument and, for both sides, yeah. And in, in, in my stomach, I, I think the Australians, that winning mentality makes them yeah. what they are. So mm. there's a bit of both. We, and, we need a bit of that dogginess. Well, there is that. And that, of course, that dismissal of Bairstow is not why England lost. We know that as well. Matt, thank you very much for your call. What about AJ? He also has rung up to speak to us this morning on on 0371722334. How are you doing, AJ? Morning, AJ. Morning, Matt. Morning, Dino. 
It's, uh, just, it's just not cricket, is it? Let's be honest. It just is. I was, I was there on Saturday, and it was, it was set up lovely on Saturday for a great finish on um, uh, on on Sunday yesterday. And the bottom line is, Bearstaw's walked out of his crease because he's seen the umpire at the other end turn and and walk to and start to go to a square leg. Well, I'm not being funny. Not every not if you listen ever, ever played cricket or anything, the umpires don't always say over. No, they don't. At the end of an over, they don't. Mm. So it's 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 like an unwritten rule amongst professionals, amongst not even professionals, but amongst cricket players, that once the last ball's been bowled and it's in the wicket, that's a, it's like twenty meters away from the uh, from stumps. And he put his foot back in the crease. It's, that's the bit that's important. He's put his foot back in the crease. So he's taken the, the keeper's taken the ball. Yeah, he's looked around, put his foot in the crease and then walked. That should not have been given out because what they should have took into account uh, at the, uh, for, for the um, off-field official should have looked and seen that the umpire had turned and walked at the same time. Therefore, mm. that indicates it's over. There's only one reason why an, a, 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 an umpire would move away from the wicket opposite um, a batsman at any time, and that's if the ball's coming towards him or there's a, a simply... Uh, or the fielders are thrown into the uh, opposite wicket. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.